Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about expired domains. So expired domains can be really cool because you can pick up some really good stuff on the on the drop, as they call it. You're going to want to wait till the end of the video because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what I use to to find my expired domains, how to use this program that's free online that everybody can use. You can pick up some really cool stuff on the drop. As you can see, I'm on Namejet right now. So basically expired domains, you know, somebody has them, they buy them for a year, buy them for two years, buy them for five years, and they expire, they forget about them. Something happens. There's a there's a 30 day waiting period and then there's a whole process that happens whenever a domain is expired. Graphic right here by ICANN, how a domain name goes, it's available, then it gets registered, and then it expires. All right, then there's a grace period of zero to 45 days. And then after that, there's a redemption period of 30 days. All right, this is the auto renew period. I, I should say as well, auto renew. If it's auto renewed in, in the last 45 days, it goes back to the registered. The grace period. So you have 45 days left to register your domain. You still have it, but you have 45 days left to register it. Okay. Then there's the redemption period. All right. So this is 30 days. The domain is no longer in your zone. It's no longer in your possession. Well, it's in your possession. You get the grace period. All right. And then it's pending delete for five days and then it's released. All right. And then through here, you can find drop catch activity, pre-drop alternatives and domain tasting activity. I don't know what that means, but I guess it means it's available. But there's a lot of stuff you can do on the pre-drop in this section here. So if you go back to Namejet, you can see it's called the drop. And you have a chance to back order those domains pending delete. All right, so you can back order any one of these domains. Now, the thing is that some of these domains may be bought up by the people where they, they, they realize, hey, that's expiring. I want to keep it. So then they buy them and then you can't get them then. All right, then there's some exclusive ones. Um, these ones are exclusively expiring in Namejet, so those are probably ones they had. But then there's auctions and last chance and hot picks. This is just one way to do domains. This is just one source of expired domains right here is where you can do auctions. So the next one is GoDaddy. GoDaddy, you can find expired domains at GoDaddy auctions. All right, so, you know, their, their estimated value and the price is a little bit ridiculous. So I don't think the uh, 77k.com... That's a three, two number and a letter. So that one is probably pretty expensive. It's a three letter. But you can just go through here and you can search for which one that you want to do. So if you want to like, uh, if, you, if you're searching for, you know, auto mechanic or something, you can search for anything that says auto in there. And it'll bring up all the auto domains. All right, so auto.claims. All right, see, these are all for sale. Then you, you want to filter out you're going to want to filter out, uh, well, you can log in and do an advanced search and filter out. You just want the dot coms. You just want the one, the expiring auctions. Public buy now, close out domains. So if you just want the expiring, then you just go run search. And you just want to, uh, maybe it begins with auto. All right, you just run the search. Okay, autographsnet.com. You can just go through all of them and say it's not a very good keyword to put in there, but if it was like an auto mechanic, auto part bay. All right, so that one's uh, expiring. So the estimated value on that is ten seventy five. dollars You can get it right now for $12 plus registration. I should I should say that too. This is a price is $12 plus you have to register it for a year. All right, at least one year. So it's going to be 12 plus a yearly registration fee. One of the other things I like to do with the domains are I, I like to learn about domains at Domain Sherpa. All right, this is one of the places I started learning about domain names at. Domain name, or do, Domain Sherpa. Uh, he was with Michael Seiger. I'm not sure if he's still on here or not, but I know that uh, they have a podcast. And uh, it's it's pretty informative podcast that you all want to listen to if you're interested in domain names. So you can just come here and they do a review of all their domains that they talk about during the podcast. So if you go into the article, you can see that... Uh, here, here's the actual podcast right here, but you can get it on like iTunes or whatever you you do. But usually they go through a list of domain names and they talk about what they're worth or, you know, if it's a good one or not. And actually people contribute their domain name portfolios to the, the Sherpas, they call them. And then the Sherpas go over the domain names and talk about if they're good, if they're not, what the value is, what your best ones are, what the worst ones are. So this is actually a really cool um, show that... I, 
I haven't listened to it so much recently, but I was listening to this um, whenever I got a chance. You can really binge on it and really learn some stuff about domain names if you want to. Uh, so check out Domain Sherpa. That's DomainSherpa.com. And then, like I said, the podcast they have. But what I do is I, I usually do expired domain names to find some good ex- expired domains. And you can just go and log in. It's a free account you can, you can create. And what's cool about expired domains is that you can search expired domains. All these different domain names, .biz, .eu, .asia, .cat, you can see them all right here. I usually just go to .com and just go to deleted.coms. All right, and then it comes to this page and there's only 90,000 reviews, okay, or 90,000 results. So if I go to show filter, you don't want to filter out all this stuff because okay, there's like, there's a whole bunch of domains in here that are uh, numbers and gibberish and you know that, whatever that is. Um, there's also gonna be a lot of adult domains in here. So you're gonna see some adult domain names that are like, you know, obscene. Uh, so that's just a warning as well. Usually what I do start off doing is I do no numbers, no hyphens, and then I do uh, English words. So you don't have to have that checked, but I usually just do English words just to kind of fill it out gibberish. And then you can choose when you want your domain names from. If you only want them to do the last 24 hours, you just click only 24 hours. You go to apply filter. And of course you can do all those other things there. And usually I just go down here and I go to, uh, actually I go to show filter. And for domains, I usually go to like 100. All right, and then you just can see what they are right here. And if you want to search by age, the oldest domain, let's see. Computerproductsync.com, Joseph Colors, all Pro Pub, West Africa News, Tina Vest, Bookwares. So they're not like Bookwares. That's really not that bad of a one that just went out today. Then what I like to do is copy it. And then you can see the backlinks. Well, I'm just going to go over to Estabot and see what that is uh, possibly worth. And Estabot isn't an end-all be-all, but, um, you know, it gives you a good estimate. Less than $100. So that's how you check your domains, or that's how I check them. Now remember, if you do an Estabot, they only give you like three. Um, they only give you like three searches per day, per 24-hour period, I think. Um, so you're not gonna be able to search all the time, but you can just go through here on the expired domains, and see what they are. Back Bay Travel, IrishWebsites.com, Real Life Truman. So you know it's a pretty cool way. Look at. It. When it's linked, see, I have no idea what this one is. It tells you the backlinks. That's what this is right here, backlinks. Uh, domain pop, okay. Uh, length of the characters right here, character length. So here's some short ones. And this is, character length is a good one to do because you don't want it to be, if, you want, if you're looking for like solid domain names that are like eight to 10 characters, something like that, you want, want to go up here to the show filter and you want to go back to the length right here for a minimum or maximum. You want to put the maximum number of characters you want in your domain name. So maybe you have like a short, uh, you know, four letter word with a profession afterward or something like auto mechanic. You know, you're not going to want to auto mechanic in you know, New Jersey, New York City, uh, you know, you just want it to be shorter than that. So you just do 15 and then it filter out the results. So we were at 40,000. Now, after we did that 15 character, now we're at 23,000. And then if you had a minimum or max, maximum, so, uh, and then you can see right here, it tells you if they're available or not. Sometimes they're registered and you can just go to show filter here. And then there's a, uh, only available domains that you want to to search you just click that right here and go to apply filter all right and one of the cool things I like to do too is that um stevebenois.com see so if that was your name Steve Benoit you just found a, your domain on the drop as they say since 1998 the Wayback Machine birth your domain using the Hughes creation and then the other ones the um, birth using archive.org there's also a Wayback machine one in here as well um, one of the things I like to do is go to show filter and if it starts with like say you're looking for a doctor domain you start with doctor and apply filter you can see uh, it's DR but you can see what comes up 
that's where you shorten the length of it search by length all right and you can see that there's not not really any doctor names but i have found good doctor names before doing that um starting with the dr anything like that but you're, you're gonna want to find you know something that you're into maybe you're just looking for domains for your city so maybe you're like so say you're just looking for tampa domains that dropped let's just say tampa and we'll, we'll just do the, the last 14 days so let's see all the tampa domains that dropped and this is good for like i said this is good for profession if you're looking for like um you know plumbers and tampa or something so let's just see what it is and, and i like to sort by the oldest so you can see there's 68 domains that dropped in the last uh 14 days bet tampa bay fit food tampa bay havana club tampa strip clubs tampa so these are some you know pretty decent sarasota tampa even though that doesn't even make sense but um sex tampa all right so there's a lot of good good ones tampa elevator stampabout.com tampa bay pain tampa vipers uh that one might <laughs> xfl might want that one back that just came available today uh they're, they're probably at tampa bay vipers though so you see how this works it just gives you some ideas it just gives you some ideas the vipers don't have an official website yet i don't think i guess they're just under xfl maybe that's what happened maybe they bought the domain name. <laughs> somebody bought the domain name uh a while ago yeah so they're not even um you know they, they don't even have an official website yet it looks like but there's tampavipers.com all right that can also be car dealership there maybe they got that for a car dealership previously that tampa guy blackbean tampa tire shop.com tampa bike.com see these are some temp tampa tire shop like somebody wants that domain somebody there's a tire shop in tampa that wants that domain uh that's a good you know uh good domain for somebody to have there uh Sky Zone Tampa, Tampa Bay Miners. So you guys get the ideas, the the idea. And, you know, if you want to search other, you know, .orgs or .coms, .whatever, you can have a, there's pending deletes right there. There's caught domains. Caught domains are the ones that got immediately registered, it says. So T Tampa Aiken. So you can see all the ones there, that gumdiseastampa.com. It was dropped and then somebody registered immediately. Vegan Tampa. Okay, so and some of those might be that are uh, domains that got immediately registered after they dropped. So if you guys want to check out domain names and expired domains, that's how I do them. That's how I find expired domains. I found some good ones. Uh, I think pimpcups.com is probably my best one I found. But uh, hey guys, check it out. Let me know how you like the video. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the other side.